Thanks. What happened to your face? Nothing important. Do some people think you belong to them? They can do whatever they like. I guess it's an occupational hazard. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? You remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. It was mailed in the Carnaby district. The day before Johnny disappeared. No sender. Oh, well, nothing particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation? The answer is no. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. There's no way you can help me, Lauren. You'll just slow me down. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're really something special, Lauren. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? <sighs> We're partners. Maybe you better stay in the car. Partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wood tycoon from Kramer Construction. No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? But now I just have a few questions that need answers. Security all over the place. I would say Gordy's just a little bit paranoid. Gordy Kramer, you stay here till I come back, okay? Okay, just let me know if you need me. Hi, great party, huh? Thank <laughs> you. 
Bob does have it first. Now I got me a new friend. Booze, babes, and coke. Morty Kramer seems to be quite the party animal. Hmm. Not gonna be easy to find Gordy behind that big wall of paid gorillas. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. I'm a private detective. I'd like to speak to Gordy Kramer. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Beat it. Look, you just tell him that Scott Shelby wants to speak to him. Okay? You're starting to piss me off, man. Now beat it before I get angry. If I want to see Gordy Kramer, I'm gonna have to go about it some other way. Those two goons and me seeing Gordy don't mix. I'm gonna have to think of another way to get... Whoa. You see that guy over there? Do you know what he said about you? What'd he say? Mr. Kramer? Shh! This is the best part! <laughs> My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! What do you want? A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw it. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? I don't know why, but your story just doesn't check out. You're giving me the crap now. Tell me something I can't believe. Very well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? 
This interview is over. Get rid of this clown! <laughs> Thanks for coming, Mr. Shelby. It was fun while it lasted. Ugh. Get rid of her. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Now where am I supposed to go? There must be a clue or something. The origami figure was in the form of a butterfly. So, am I looking for a butterfly? It might be a trap. I had better be careful. This is the old Pico power station. Electrical condensers. Going by the sound of them, they're still active. A butterfly on the door. That's where I need to get to. <laughs> 